Hi, I'm Nina, this is Intrinsic, and today is part two of what's on my iPad, and I'm gonna show you all of our math apps. Okay, the first category on my iPad is math, and I have all of the Dragon Box apps. They're all really, really great. What I love about them is they have made the math part of the mechanics of the game. I already have a review on Dragon Box big numbers that you can check out in the cards or in the description. And Dragon Box numbers, we don't play as much anymore. That's more of that foundational number sense. And it's very, um, very fun to play with the numbers. The little monsters are actually called the number that their size is. And even whether you are doing the objective, which is to find the correct size pieces to fit in um, the slots and make a picture, or you're just playing with them. My daughter a lot of times got distracted and liked making bigger and bigger numbers, but don't think that the objective really is for them to make that picture. It really is for them to play with numbers and understand how they transform as you're adding them together and splitting them up. You can find a piece that's the right size, that's building number sense. You can put two together to make a bigger number, that's part of number sense an addition, or you can take an existing uh, big number and split it to make the smaller piece. That's number sense. However you're playing it, you're going to be uh, gaining that foundation of what numbers mean. And every now and then they do have you trace the numeral so that you do connect it. The original Dragon Box is genius. It is about algebra and it is very game-like, and like I said, the mechanics of the game are the skills you need for algebra. And it sh has you balancing the equation. At first, it's doing it in pictures, and it is very fun. I've enjoyed playing it. Um, and when they introduce a concept, they introduce it in a way that is pictures and um, very intuitive for your gaming kids. Like, the positive and negative, they'll be reverse colors, and you learn that when you put them together, that they zero out and you can isolate that box, which is like isolating X so that you know what X equal, or do you, isolating Y, or whatever variable you are trying to um, isolate. It slowly transitions from those pictures to symbols. So you are getting negative C and positive C and able to put those together. We have a couple of Duck Duck Moose games. These are more preschool, early elementary level, and this is kind of where we are in our house, learning um, fluency and gaining that understanding of what the, these numbers mean and why we're doing these equations. So this Moose Math app, um, there's several little mini games in there. One of them is taking orders for shakes and you have to add the right amount to make that. Another mini game in there is matching the, um, the number of spots. Sometimes it's numerals, sometimes it's just pictures. Another game, it looks like a dot to dot, but instead of starting with one, you do start with a higher number, so you're learning to count on. That's a good, important skill when you're adding bigger numbers. And um, it also transitions into skip counting. They also have a shape game that seems very basic I don't think we really play that one very much. Um, another Duck Duck Moose game that we have is a bingo game where you are finding the answer and trying to get those in a row. If you get it wrong, it deletes the square, so you, you can't just guess. Quick Math Junior is another one. This was one of the first ones I found. If you are wanting to have a report card of where your child is, this has a really good one. You let them play the game, there's lots of visuals that help you process it in a way that is organized and makes mental math in the future a lot easier. Uh, there's patterns, there's number lines. One of the fun things about this game is whenever you get it right, it always makes this this funky mixed up monster and so it's pretty entertaining that way. Um, it has subitizing, which is being able to recognize quantities without actually counting them individually. Like if I hold up this, you probably didn't have to count my fingers to know I had three up because you recognize that pattern of a three. When you see a square, you don't have to count the sides. You know that pattern is four. Um, 
our brains can do that with lower amounts and it actually, if we train our brains to do that, it helps us organize and regroup and it helps with mental math in the future. So this is really good for that. I love this place value balancing one. So Quick Math Junior is a really good one. And another great one is the Osmo Pizza Co. It is my favorite of all the Osmo games. You have a pizza shop and you have to make the pizzas by physically moving the toppings onto the pizza, put it where the mirror, where the iPad can recognize it, and then once you've done that, then they will pay you and you have to physically put the change so it sees that you get the correct amount and you are able to build your business. You can eventually build up the way it looks and I think a really, really cool one. My one thing that is a little bit funky with that is the pizza board doesn't stay flat. I That was the only improvement I think they could make. And those are our math apps. If you are interested in more, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified of our other ones. And so I'll put links below. If there's anything else you're curious about, ask me and I will reply to your comment and update the description and also my spreadsheet for all of the things that we are using like games and apps and books and thanks for watching intrinsic the passions within me because i'm intrinsic